What's up guys? It's about mid-November right now. Uh, definitely past peak fall color, but I wanted to take a little walk through the garden. Let's we'll see what see what we see for right now. Um, had a few pretty early, pretty hard freezes, so that did zap some of the fall color out of things. Uh, but it was a really wet summer and fall, so it kind of wasn't great even before that. Uh, you can see the tail end of summer gold right here. This was probably the showstopper of the fall. Awesome red and orange colors there. See a little peak of what's still hanging around. Next to that, Oregon sunset. Definitely turned a lot of that is new growth, but definitely did turn red after kind of fading to green late summer. Be a little bit of that Oregon sunset red in there. But again, this see some frost damage on this already, so probably not gonna get any better than it already is. Got a little Japanese princess there. It's the Serbian spruce, buttermilk falls. Catherine Elizabeth, Japanese white pine, and then strawberry spring at the front of the house. Familiar with the channel, we did have a big purple ghost here. Kind of opted for this. It's a little smaller footprint right off the corner. Figured that might look a little better. Cool, fresh, flash frozen leaves still holding on there. So I did move the purple ghost over here that'll look good here's another picea omarica serbian spruce peve tinge uh, a little bit more green on this haven't seen a lot of the blues and yellows uh, but still a cute little cute little spruce that is uh taylor's taylor sunburst so that'll show off this coming spring uh, we've got Autumn Moon here. Here's Ramona. That kind of lost all of its leaves as soon as I got it. Uh, hopefully that comes back in the spring. This is Acer Palmatum Celebration. Uh, similar story there. It did have some real pretty new growth on it, so excited for the spring. We'll see what it does. This is a newer addition. Uh, clearance find. This is a Th uh, Thuga canadensis, uh, I believe it's Mongeurs, but it's a golden duke. Uh, I guess that's eastern uh, hemlock. It's supposed to be a little bit more narrow growing, but that yellow color all year round. So definitely eye catching in the garden right now. Get up there. Next to that, another Serbian spruce, De Ruder. So that'll be a really cool color contrast here as I back up. You've got the yellow, the blue, green, and then swing back around. Celebration, that pink and red. That'll be a pretty cool contrast here. Uh, Amber Ghost, not the best year with that. This year did have some pretty uh, late summer growth that looked good. Uh, Ryuzu, Dragon Head, it's up in front of that. That Again, for all, you can see the frost cut that summer color short. That's usually like a pretty kaleidoscope mix of colors. Didn't get to enjoy that. Uh, this is Mila. That'll look pretty. So that Here's a Alaskan Cedar Sparkling Arrow. Uh, temporary Home. Here for um, Hortzman Silverlock. Probably won't be enough room next to uh, the Picea Orientalis um, Aurea Compacta. You'd think it'd be smaller, but I've seen those pretty massive. So 
honestly. This hasn't really grown in two years. Probably end up moving it somewhere else. Won't help it growing, but it'll get it out of here. And we've got uh, Acer Palmatum Emma on that. That is uh, Spring Ghost, uh, Picea Pungens Nimitz, and then the big Emperor One, also kind of fresh, flash, flash froze uh, with some of those cold, cold nights that we've seen so far this fall. The uh, Vanderwolf Limper Pines are doing well. It's kind of shedding those interior needles. Moved the Mikazuki here. Summertime, we'll get less sun, so kind of hoping to prolong some of that pink red color. This one, again, uh, hard freeze, muted those uh, fall colors. It did have some really nice oranges kind of underneath that top layer for a bit. Uh, so hopefully that comes back nice next spring. Moonrise, not known for its fall color, was yellow for about two days before it turned brown. So I enjoyed that. Um, and here's kind of a look at the pond terrace. Jerry Schwartz, Ryusin, Lillian's Jewel, Baldsmith. Here's Mayday. First time I've gotten a look at this out of leaf. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool structure we got on there. This is really like a four season tree. It looks great even in the winter. Next to that, Icebreaker. I see a Glaucopendula, some barking dogs, and the red dragon. That'll do for now. See you guys.